In this video, I answer the very simple question. Is Bloody Mary Mary Queen of Scots? <music> Greetings, loyal subjects. It is I, His Royal Majesty King Henry VIII. Now, on my social media channels, I've been getting a lot of the questions and a lot of confusion. And I hope that in this video, I'm going to clear it up. Now, these questions mainly arose when I posted a video about my sister, Mary Tudor. And the questions were very simple. Is Mary Tudor Bloody Mary? And I've also seen other questions flying about the internet. Is Bloody Mary Mary Queen of Scots? And the answer is very simple. No! These are three different people. So let's go through them each in turn. And we'll start with the eldest. The eldest, Mary Tudor, was my youngest sister. Now often she is referred to as Mary Tudor, the French Queen. That is how she was referred to in my court. Why? Well, for a brief period of time, and literally we are talking a few months, my younger sister, Mary Tudor, was married to the King of France, making her the French Queen. If you want to find out more about my sister and her clandestine marriage to my best friend, go and check out that particular video. Second on the list is my daughter, Mary. Now, Mary was my daughter with my first wife, Catherine of Aragon. She became Queen of England after Edward's death. Edward, of course, being my son with my third wife, Jane Seymour. He was Edward VI. When he died, there was a brief nine-day coup when Jane Grey tried to install herself on the throne. But Mary, who was next in the line of succession according to my will, she overthrew that coup and became queen. She was Mary I of England. Now she was Bloody Mary. How did she get that name? Well, England had gone through the Reformation, particularly during Edward's reign. So that meant the country had basically converted from being a Catholic country to being a Protestant country. Problem was, when Mary came to the throne, she was a complete devout Catholic. And what she did, and what gained her the name Bloody Mary, is she burnt a lot of Protestants alive for their failure to convert back to Catholicism. Third on the list of the youngest of the three was Mary Queen of Scots. Now Mary Queen of Scots was the great granddaughter of my eldest sister, Margaret Tudor. She got sent up to Scotland at 13 and got married off to the King of Scots. Mary Queen of Scots was a direct descendant of her. Mary Queen of Scots was alive when Elizabeth was on the throne. It was actually Elizabeth that signed the execution warrant that ended Mary Queen of Scots's life. So now you know the difference. Three principal players in the Tudor saga all call Mary, but each of them is completely different. Hope you liked the video, and please ask your own questions about history, and in a future video, I will try and answer them. Take care. <laughs>